Hi everybody and welcome back to part 6 already in our Valheim adventures. Like I said in the previous episode, we are going to take on the boss. I ran back, I got us some antlers, some deer trophies. Uh, we've got some wood, which I don't actually think you're going to need because I did scout the area a little bit. But we are going to kill this boss now. I expect I'm going to die a heck of a lot. So I hope you enjoy the video. And let's get it on. Wish me luck. Time to die. Okay, where are you, buddy? Come here. Okay, I need to get my stem up. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get my chicken now. Woohoo! That was close. Okay, got my stem up, got some health. Quit running from me, buddy. Okay, let's move away. Let's get some regen going. Okay, I can't eat any more meat. Stupid things getting in my way there. Whoa! Okay, we're getting a bit of health, getting a bit of health. Oh! He came to me. Good thing for all these trees, right? Oh, I didn't even get a swing on them there. Okay, we're almost uh, out of the rain effect, which will help me get my stem and everything up faster. Uh, where's he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is there. Look at that. Oh, I'm using normal arrows. What's the wrong arrows? I'm meant to be using fire arrows. Okay, so I'm still low on health. I can't eat food just yet. Uh, right now I'm just playing chicken. This isn't how I want to play this, but anyway. Nice. It doesn't do a lot of damage the way I'm doing it, but every little bit helps. Oh, they hit me full on there. See, ideally, I want to actually just charge at him. Like he just did to me. Oh, no stem. Oh, go away. Oh, <laughs> three health. Can you believe? I can move faster with that, my weapon out. 
So I should have bought those pillars to make my life easier. Okay, he's running around down there. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay, we almost got him. Let's blow half. <laughs> now I've got like seven health. <laughs> no, I don't get to my base. Anyway, but there. Oh, how's that for bad luck? How was that for bad luck, Aaron? Because I don't panic by my base. Because I panicked about the base. Uh, I completely messed that up. Okay. Oh, now we can do, buddy. I'm full health again. Come on. Okay, let's get some stamina so I can get a few more extra swings in there. I've got him now. Just need to get my stamina up and then we can kill him. To be honest, I actually thought I would die a lot more than this. Okay, come on. Two more hits, at least two more hits, and then you're down, buddy. Oh, there we go. Got him down one. Feels good, man. Feels good. So we struck him down. We destroyed the forest. Ha ha. We are a warrior. See, even Hayden, Hagen. Says I am a warrior. <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to go back to base now. That feels good. Uh, we'll just leave this as is. We just want to collect our stuff that we put in the chest. No, I didn't even need all those arrows. I honestly thought that he was going to be harder. But apparently it wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. But now we've got the antler, that thingy, which we needed. So now we actually pretty much can go into the dark wood and go start looking for copper and all the nice stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just go this way. Uh, like I said, I thought he'd be harder. But definitely not complaining. Nope, another boar. Okay. Let's get our stamina up so we can go for a little swimmy swim.
there was actually a lot of fun. I'm totally drowning right now. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't want too much of that. I need it. Uh, is that just a trophy? I don't necessarily want to throw it away. I'll throw that raw meat away. Okay, we're going to go put that head on the statue. Oh, man. That was awesome. Come on, just die. Thank you. So when you put the head on the, on the standing stones like I'm about to go do now, when I get there, it basically is like a milestone. Like, hey, you've achieved this, like your quest almost. And from there, you actually are able to get what we call invasions, which also scale up according to the area that you're in and to the bosses you've killed. This being the very first one. You have noticed I haven't had any invasions at my bases. Okay, uh, so we place it here. And you'll notice it gives me extra stamina, extra jump speed. Aha! So now we can head back home. I must just always remember to actually use it. Uh, was F. You notice now my stamina won't run down so quickly and I go further. Yeah, all in all, good fight. Dum 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 dum. Yeah, I'm overweighted, so there's no point in me actually hunting these deer, which I need. Okay, so we go in here, prepare our stuffs, and you can see I can now make the deer antler. And it's such a handy little tool that it's your f very first pickaxe that you get. I don't actually need more. But uh, just in case. So we're going to put that in there. Uh, storage at the way. That, and that in there. Uh, what else? Let's 
put a, a nice errors away. We can use the rubbish ones. Uh, that must go in the other chest. Uh, this there. See, what you do with this is, once I speak to this guy, you see these rocks here? I can now damage rocks, where before I couldn't. So we need to now go all the way to that black forest and we need to go hunt for some iron, uh, copper. My bad, copper. Uh, I don't think we can build any of the smelters and stuff just yet. Nah, I've got to go touch the copper. We can build ourselves a little raft, but we will definitely be doing that in the next video. We're not going to be doing that now. Uh, for the moment, let's go get some more wood. Maybe we'll get some more hide if there's any nice friendly creatures nearby. I feel like donating to my cause. Yeah, it's going to fall on my head. Lock animation. <laughs> I don't think we can build the cart now, can we? No, not yet. We need copper. Okay. Okay, let's deposit all this wood. Uh, let's actually see if I've got enough to make this raft. Uh, if I can make it now, let's make it. And see if we can find us a better base location. Because that was pretty much the goal, if I'm not mistaken, that's what we said we're going to do. Okay, so I should have enough to make this our very first raft. Oh, look at this. It's such a cute little, little raft. It's like our very first raft. It's the basic of the basic stuff to go with our play style right now. Uh, and I need to reset my spawn location. Also, I'm going to spawn out in that next to the boss again. So you get to sleep there. Let's put our wood in here, put our stone. Take a stack of wood with us because we need to go and build that side. If 
but let's leave a newly found item here. We'll leave the hoe here too. We don't need it right now. Let's go. So all boats have three settings. This is full mast. Then we've got half mast and no mast. See, half mast, no mast. You see on the right hand side is also my wind direction. And yeah, this isn't a fast boat. Let's be honest. It's the first boat. I probably should have actually brought that little club with me. Because we are doing a no portal session. Oh, I discovered the ocean. See, I want to stay within the wind, but the wind is not playing my game with me. Uh, what that is hit. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sinking, boss. <laughs> No, we still good. We still good. <laughs> That's like the one downside to the ocean. It hurts your boat. Okay, now we are kind of against the wind here. There we go. So I kind of want to leave the island. I don't want to be sailing back to it. But the wind is not in my favor. See? I'm like but what you can do is you can go with no mast. You got a bit of mobility, but not much. It doesn't help them turning the boat around like an idiot. I honestly feel I could have like run there and back already, or even that that direction. Nope, sending into the wind again. Let's munch down some food.
Okay, we don't want to get caught on these rocks here. We've got a bit more wind going for us. With that little dinky boat. We're not really carrying anything of value other than the... We actually got like nothing of value. Yeah, let's park the boat. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna foot it. This was a little bit of a mistake. Yeah. Ugh. See you later, bud. Freedom. Okay, let's, since we're on the side, let's see what we can find here. Found a beehive. Where the man that they stung me for the beehive? No. It was well worth it. Okay, so this looks like more dark forest, I think. Yeah, we're now in the black forest. I don't know why I keep going the dark forest. Scary place, this. Uh, we need nettles, yes. Okay, I'm just... Those are are very nice to get. Oh, and there's a copper ore deposit. Two copper ore deposits by the looks of things. Yes. So where are in luck? Let's go here. Copper times two. I'm going to run home, go fetch our stuff, and then in the next video we will mine us some copper. And we've got to go find us a burial crypt. 
Okay, but I shall leave everybody here. I'll run back to base on my own. I see there's another copper mode. Let's mark this one. I shall leave everybody here and I will report back to you once we get back to home and we prepare ourselves for this adventure. Also just a reminder to people, this is a no portal session. So everything I do, it's a little back and forth running till when we got our main base operational. Which, other than by my personal choice, there's nothing wrong with where our base is right now. But for the time being, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. This is Aegis signing out.